Hi everybody, just a quick video here on how to reset the service indicator on my 2011 Mercedes ML300. Just making this video because I couldn't remember how to do this. I know I did this uh, just over 12 months ago when I uh, did the service on this vehicle and Googling, I had to do a lot of Googling to find how to do this again for some reason. So I just thought I'd run through it on how to do it for you folks. So we're here. Um, you saw the service indicator, so we'll switch off the instrument completely and then we uh, switch it to accessory and then we hit the R button three times. Okay, into the settings menu. Now what we're going to do, come across to the uh, steering wheel here and we'll press the up button and we see on the cluster we've gone to the uh, version information of our cluster. I press the up button again, come to the ESP dynamics test, up button again, see the VIN number, up button again, we come to the service menu. Now, now that we're at the service menu, what we want to do is we want to go down to the confirmation. So I'll use the buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel, press the negative, and we'll press the negative button until we come down to the confirmation. Then we want to come into the confirmation menu. So we use the buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel, that goes out whereas this one comes in. So I'll press that and we'll come into the menu. And what we want is the uh, full service. So we'll press the uh, confirmation button. And we can see service confirmed. So now that we've done that, we'll press that again. And we can exit the menu. And now we switch the keys off and we'll switch back on and we can see that service indicator does not come on anymore.